Hey guys, Josh the RV Nerd here, and I want to talk about uh, shower wall surround paneling. Does it matter? Does it not matter? Let's go find out. Like, like most things in these videos, the answer is yes and no. There's just no direct answer to so many things. That's why both setups are built, so let's go take a look. Okay. So here, we have a shower with no surround paneling. I've got a skylight giving me wicked backlight, so it's not exactly the best visual, but I think you'll get the idea. People are afraid of this, and I understand why. You're right, and you're wrong. <laughs> Isn't that funny? So, the concern you have is that when you take a shower, all water that splashes off your body is going to water damage and soak into this panel, and I have talked about in videos how the Luan wall paneling and the wood used in RVs is a water starved material and it will act like a sponge and it'll soak this stuff up and you're gonna be terrified. Well, yeah, but it's also not raw exposed wood. And you guys ever like spill something on your shirt? As long as you get it off real quick, just not a big deal, you know? Well, this is like that. A little bit of water is not gonna kill this thing. It's when this is left exposed long term and it gives that Luan and that wood a chance to soak things up. That's when you have a problem. So what you want to do with a non-surround shower like this is when you're all done, you take your towel and not your, your curtain, obviously, but take a towel and you just wipe the wall down real quick. That's it. That's all it takes. It'll take three seconds. But I understand why people don't want to do that because... I'm camping, man. I want to take it easy. I don't, I don't want to have to do stuff. That's why I'm camping. Otherwise, I just if, if I wanted a job, I'd have just stayed at work. Well, I get that. I do. Um, but is it really that big of a deal? I mean, are we really are we really getting that lazy? Maybe. I think it's not so much that people are lazy as so much that they just don't know and they're afraid. And that's why I wanted to put this together. So uh, it's actually sometimes a good idea to not have that shower wall surround panel. Like, I happen to be in the back of a little Apex Nano, which is just a, a little small ultralight trailer. Well, this shower is in the rear corner of the RV. This is a twisting shoe box. This thing likes to bend and flex. All campers do that. It's not just this Apex. It's all RVs. And if you think your RV doesn't flex, you're drunk. Anyway, so if this is twisting, that corner up there gets the worst of it. It gets the bulk of that twist and shake. Well, if you put a shower wall surround panel on here, they're top sealed. So there's a bead of sealant that goes around the top of this thing up here. If this is flexing, not if but when, that bead sealant will crack and come loose. Now, you've got a perfect spot for water to go down there because the shower surround panels rarely go all the way up to the ceiling. You know, and when you're splashing water and you're washing your hair and that water's flinging every which way, water will go down inside of that. Well, how's it going to get out? Where's it go? It can't really. So now you just locked water into the walls against the Luan panels. That, that's, that's actually literally the problem that you have with a non-shower surround. You're afraid of that. So you, you have caused the problem you were trying to avoid. Whoops. <laughs> well, keep an eye on your seals, you know, your top seals and your shower surrounds, and you'll be okay. You know what, actually? We're going to flip gears. We're going to go to a shower, sh shower surround <laughs> God, panel. Let's go. Okay, so we found a shower with a surround here. This one should be better, right? I mean, you're thinking in your head, yeah, but no at the same time. Yes and no. So, the neat thing with the shower wall surround paneling is when you're showering that water spraying off you, it's going to hit this panel, it's going to bead down, it's going to go right down into the drain where it's supposed to. No big deal. You're never going to think twice about it. Um, the only hiccup is, again, you have to remember that it's, it's top sealed. So, if water gets, uh, I got some terrible light from the skylight. If water gets up here in this seal right here, uh, in, in that little area, then it can sneak down behind this wall surround paneling and get trapped. Now, like most things, this is where there's another yes but sort of conversation. So you're thinking, yeah, but um, didn't they leave anyway for it to get out? And the answer is 
Yeah, in most RVs. The answer, if you look down here, is that there's actually a seam down here. Oh, where's my finger? There you go. So you see this seam. Well, it's actually, it's like an interlocking S-lock. You have the top piece, you have the bottom piece, and they, they crimp. And water can kind of wick its way down through there a little bit and get out. Except in the case of seamless showers which you find in very nice luxury fifth wheels where you're expecting to have no problems. Um, in the case of a seamless shower, which is structurally stronger than this, it's, it's, um, it's also more critical that you keep your seals checked and uh, that you don't let water get behind that paneling. So, which one's better? With shower wall surround paneling? Without? I don't know. We sell both just fine. I don't see either come back with regular problems. Actually, you know, I see the sh the ones with the shower wall surround panel and come back from time to time because occasionally those uh, when when the heat hits this RV and materials expand, well, where you have that uh, here, let me kind of give you a sandwich. Like if this is the wall and this is the shower wall surround paneling, that seal will break and it will kind of pop. It'll buckle outwards a little bit. Well, that concerns people. So I actually see these need more attention. I, I don't know if I've ever seen one instance where I had to replace water-damaged shower walls. Even on old campers. You see these old, like, 1990 Fleetwoods coming on trade. Their shower walls are fine, and they've been used, for sure. So, does it matter? Does it not matter? I don't know. You decide. It's your money, guys. That's why I put these videos together, so that you know what you're buying. So, take care. Stay safe. Have fun. Happy camping, everyone.